Hi, I'm Luki, and this is Swike Tactics, a video series for millennials looking to get more out of their career potential. So today's topic is self-care. And for me, self-care is usually three things. Is one is exercise, nutrition, and sleep. So first of all, why is self-care important? You're 20-something and you don't really need to take care of stuff because you can eat and, and not have to stretch and exercise. But it does become important because imagine that you're on a cross-country trip. You're in Toronto and you have to make it to Vancouver. And that is the rest of your journey. And someone tells you that they give you a 22-year-old car. Are you happy with that? Now, if someone took really good care of that car and maintained the engine and all the fluids and everything, then that might be fine because there are a lot of antique cars that are doing quite well. But if someone didn't and they threw a lot of garbage in there and didn't really take care of it, maintenance every couple of months, then you might be in a pretty rough ride. So even though you might feel that you are young and don't have to do that, self-care is very important. So I mentioned the three main elements of self-care, sleep, nutrition, and exercise. So we'll start with sleep in reverse order. Sleep is super important. Most people misunderstand sleep and they treat it similar to a bank account where you make deposits and make withdrawals. And when you spend four hours sleeping, then essentially people think that you can make it up by spending 12 hours the next day. And essentially you have an average of, of about eight or two days. Now that's incorrect in the sense that most research says that it's more like a kitchen or a lab. And what you need is a bunch of right ingredients in order to make a perfect dish. So let's say you're baking a cake and you need flour, you need sugar, and when it turns out right, then it, you create a delicious cake. But when you're missing an ingredient, then what happens? Then the cake doesn't end up as sweet, it doesn't end up as, as fluffy, or it doesn't end up as with the right texture that you're considering. So think of sleep as a very important ingredient in order to make yourself a great day, uh, which is similar to baking a great cake. Nutrition is another important element of self-care and the stereotypical millennial diet or student diet of ramen noodles and macaroni and cheese is actually not very good for you in the sense that the expression, you are what you eat, is very true. Uh, there's research that says that your body actually generates itself every few months, I think on the order of seven months, you're actually a, a new person based on all the atoms and molecules that you are. So think about when it's trying to rebuild itself, what is it using? It's using ramen noodles and it's using macaroni. Now, what if, how would your body operate if it was powered by ramen and macaroni and cheese versus healthy vegetables and meats? And the interesting part is that none of that stuff was around during the caveman days when we were roaming the plains and hunting wild game. Now, the easiest way to treat nutrition is a few simple rules is, one, try to go to the fridge instead of the pantry. And what that means is the fridge has stuff that will spoil. That means it's probably natural and good for you. And the pantry, on the other hand, has stuff that could last for years on end. And what do you think is in it that allows it to last for years on end? Probably not stuff that's good for your body. So by doing simple things like going to the fridge, eating real food, so things that haven't been processed and, and minimizing that, and making those healthy decisions will definitely help you in order to feel a lot better and to help you reach your career potential. And the last topic on self-care is exercise. And exercise, everyone knows that it's important. And sometimes it's actually quite easy to insert some exercise into your day. So some easy tips and tricks in order to add a few more minutes is, one, just spend some time in the morning doing some bodyweight exercises, a few push-ups, a few sit-ups, a few squats, something that will get your body move, moving. What are some additional hacks are to get off one stop early and, and walk an uh, additional stop if you take the transit to work, or get off one floor early and walk up the stairs. And sometimes it becomes much easier to add a few more extra minutes of exercise into your day than you think. 
Hopefully I've given you some useful tricks for your self-care and encourage you to get better sleep, to eat well, and to add more exercise into your day. Thanks for watching, and we'll have more YouTube videos every other Monday. Feel free to subscribe to get more into your inbox, and follow us on other social media channels at Focus Inspired.